Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2, and it reads, For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here forbear. You wondering why you took heed to the warning when you heard it? Because it was mixed with faith. It was mixed with faith, Israel. You, you heard the voice of the Lord. Remember, my sheep hear my voice, right? You, want, you wonder why you turn your life around, right? And started doing the things that are well-pleasing until you how about Shem Yahweh Shai, while the rest of your family or, or the rest of your so-called friends kept going down that path of death and destruction. You want to know why? Because when you heard the word, it was mixed with faith, man. You see? And that fear kicked in. The fear of the Lord kicked in. What would happen? The Lord told us what would happen if we didn't take heed. Remember, all the unfaithful. We're going to get that, too. We're going to get that. Let's get this one more time. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. Quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, the elect is edified. When the Lord said, no saying, when we heard men on the highways and byways saying, this place is going to be destroyed, a famine is coming, race wars, class wars, civil wars, all the above, economic woes was coming. When they, when they said all that, and you believed, you heard, and nobody else didn't, it was because you had faith. The Lord gave you the gift of faith. Let's read it again, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. For unto, for unto us, the whole elect, was the gospel preached. This good news, right? As well as unto them. Look, look, but the word preached did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. But it but us, the word profited us when we heard it. Because it was mixed with faith. Faith that look to believe in something that you don't see. See, we didn't have to actually see a famine pop off. We didn't have to actually see wars pop off. Crime every damn well. You see, and Jake getting a business now. These are the, remember now, these are the Israelites that heard the word, but it wasn't mixed with faith. Remember now, everybody that's getting done dirty right about now, and the Lord is giving them the business. They heard the word just like we heard the word, but it wasn't mixed with faith. And I want to get something right quick. Let's go to 2 Ezra. Yep, 2 Ezra is the 15th chapter. So we most definitely got to be thankful that when we heard the word, that gift of faith was given to us. And I'm going to get what faith is, too. Let's get this. Second Ezra is the 15th chapter, verse 4. Now I just click on it. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Are you starting to get the picture now? Uh, is it starting to add up, Israel? Is it, is it starting to make sense now? All the unfaithful, the Israelites that don't believe in this word, all the unfaithful, no matter old head, no matter young head, no matter baby, no matter um, black, Latino, Native American, Indian, speckled bird, Israelite, foreigners, all the unfaithful shall die, damn it. Die, die, die in their unfaithfulness. And it's coming straight out of the Bible. But, but look, the pastor ain't pushing this. The, pastor, the pastor's pushing all love. Well, this is all love too, huh? All the unfaithful, man. Let's get what faith is. Let's just get it. Let's, get, let's, go, let's go to faith. Let's get what faith is. Let's go back to Hebrews. Like I said before, a quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith. Remember, we heard the word and it was mixed with faith, right? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Once again, we heard the word. We didn't have to see something to believe in it. The majority of our people, they actually got to see definite instruction to believe that it's here, that it's coming. What? 
They actually got to see the stores without food to actually believe that a famine is coming. That, that's a lack of faith. And you saw what I just read in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. All the unfaithful. What's going to happen to all the unfaithful? Let's jump down. Verse 6, let's jump down. Look, look, look. It says, um, but without faith, but without believing in something that you don't see. Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. So the Israelites that are hearing this word and they don't believe in it, and they just walk on past and they just fan their hand. They're going to get caught in all the judgments that the God of the Bible got prepared coming to this earth. Every last one of them. The scripture said sevenfold upon sinners. A complete number of things are going to happen to the majority of our people, two thirds to be exact. They don't believe in this word, man. It's going to get crucial out here. Crucial. But without faith, it is impossible. That's why we got to be thanking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh each and every day for giving us this faith to believe in his word. Because if we don't have faith, we can't please the Lord. But without faith, it is impossible. Impossible, Israel. Impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The Lord is going to reward those that got faith. And let's get Ephesians right quick. Let's get Ephesians. They heard the warning. Israel heard the warning, man. They didn't take heed, though. Ephesians 2. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. By grace are ye saved through faith. They got that word faith again. Look, look, look. We, we have been given the gift of faith to believe that we can be saved. We can be delivered. And Lord willing, we'll, we'll be counted worthy. See, our people got faith in these damn politicians, man, because you know it's voting season right about now. Looking real through out here. They got, faith, look, they got faith in politicians, but they ain't got faith in the God of the Bible. Yahweh by Shem So look, so you know you through. You, you know you through, man. All right? For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. Yahweh by Shem It's a gift. Us believing in this word is a gift. That's why we walk by faith, not by sight. We ain't got to see something to believe in it. Look, look, we, we, it's happening though. And then the Lord, you know what I'm saying, have us see certain things and that increases our faith. That enhances our faith, right? Let's go back. I want to go right back to 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter. Let's go back here. I want to, I want to read a verse right quick. 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter. I'm going to read one and I'm going to jump down. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. So when we heard the prophet speaking the words of prophecy, they was telling us things that was going to happen before it even happened. And look, look, and that faith kicked in when we heard it. And that faith kicked in when we heard it. Verse 5, Behold, saith the Lord, our brain plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And we believed it. And we, we believed it, man. Soon as we heard it, we believed it. Let's go to Romans. And like I said before, I'm going to be all over the place. Quick little lesson through the spirit of how Bashim Yahshua, Lord, one of the elect, is edified. The Lord said, look, perilous times shall come at the end. We believed it. We have to actually see it. And now that we're seeing it, we're thanking the Lord that he, he gave us the gift of faith to believe in it before it even happened. Just like the Lord said he's going to destroy this place. We believe it, man. Before it even happened, chariots are going to beam the elect of the nation of Israel up with the eagerly called UFOs. Guess what? We believe it. Romans, the 10th chapter. I just want to hit a point. Let's see. I just want to hit a point. 17. Romans 10 and 17. So, so then faith cometh by hearing. So we heard the word and instantly the, the gift of faith was given to us to believe. You see? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, which is the word of the Bible. I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth. They heard just like we heard, but what did I read? The first, first uh, scripture that I read, Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the gospel preached them, prophet them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So they heard the word just like we heard the word, but they wasn't given the gift of faith to believe in it. That's why the Lord is making a move on them right about now, man. School lunches have increased. Gas went up a couple more cents this morning. All these things was prophesied of, right? Chaos, 
pandemic, mayhem, all that was prophesied already. But no one believed except for the hopeful elect, right? So you get what you deserve, man. The Lord said he's going to bring evils upon this place. Evils and only evils. Behold, it's come. You see? Now, I want to get this Thessalonians right quick, too. Thessalonians chapter 5. Verse, um, let's see. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, because that's what everybody's hooping and hollering, right? I'm, I'm going to make it better for you. Vote for me. You, you know, Look, a face that you can trust. Come on, man. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Look, look, and we believe this. With everybody out here lying, telling us it's getting ready to get better, the Lord said destruction is coming, and guess what, damn it? We believe it. We believe it. Why? Because we have been given the gift of faith, man. The gift of faith. The Lord said, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And all that that is in the world shall pass away, but he that doeth the will of the Lord shall endure. We believe that, man. You see? Yeah, and it's a beautiful thing. What else you want, Lord? Uh, let's see. Let's see what else I want. Let's get Galatians. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And we believe this scripture right here. You out there committing wicked acts, you're going to reap the same. See, it's all about that faith at the end of the day. It's all about that faith. Let's see what else I want. And remember, faith without works is dead. I just want to throw that out there too. Faith without works is dead, man. What else, Lord, before I wrap it up? The Lord told us to cry aloud, spare not, lift up our voice like trumpets, and show our people where they're going off because the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. Matter of fact, the, the clock is ticking. Let's go right back to Romans. The clock, matter of fact, before I even get that, let's get this. This Acts. Acts chapter 28. 28. Acts chapter 28. Let's see. Or is it Acts 24? Um, let's see. Here it is. Acts chapter 28, verse 24. And some believe the things which were spoken because they had faith, right? And some believe not. The same thing Hebrews 4 and 2 said. Some believe the things which were spoken and some believe not, man. It's all about that faith. Shalom.